Hey guys, this is Trevor here, and I'm going to show you a way to unlock the full potential of your processor with... Hey guys, it's Trevor here, and I'm going to show you a great way to unlock the full potential of your processor on any Apple computer while in Windows Boot Camp. So, many of you may or may not have noticed that your processor's speed seems to be locked at its base speed while in Windows Boot Camp as opposed to Mac OS. Here's a simple way to fix it. You want to go into the description below where I have linked to the Throttle Stop download page. This is the official download from the developers. Um, here I have my Throttle Stop application. What you want to do is download that from the link, then unzip the folder. This is that folder that I have unzipped. After that you want to click on Throttle Stop. Okay, so once you've clicked on Throttle Stop, uh, there's some cool things here. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, but what you want to do first and foremost is go over here to the option called TPL. In this option, you are only concerned with these top right boxes. I Yours may not have 48 in it, but if they do not have anything in it or have something else in it, just go ahead and type 48 in both of these boxes. After that, do not touch anything else. Click Apply and OK. Since I already have it in there, I cannot click apply, so I'm just going to hit OK. Afterwards, what you want to do is click on set multiplier and tick this box all the way over to the right side. Once you see, once you complete that, you will automatically see your processor, oop, you will automatically see your processor speeds go up as seen right here in Task Manager. And that's how you unlock the full potential of your processor on any Apple computer while in boot camp. This is a great workaround. Um, this works for gaming, video editing, basically essentially anything you would do normally this will work for everything. Um, pro tip, whenever you increase your computers or your processors clock speed the temperatures will also increase because the processor is doing more work. It's processing more data so there's more thermal output. Um, a good workaround is to download Max Fan Control. I'll also have that linked down in the description. I'm having it run right now as we speak. Um, I have mine set to full blast. Uh, my MacBook's quite pretty quiet while it's on full blast. Um, but you can see my CPU proximity is 51, and then when we get into the thick of it, you can see the individual core temperatures. But that's how I keep mine down. Um, but that's how you get the full potential out of your processor on any Apple computer in Windows Boot Camp. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you've had success with this method, please comment down below and like the video. Thanks.